Hi everybody, this is Kurt Hollowell with another tutorial on our Audio Visualizer tool. Today I want to talk about the Pad Waveform script. So if you want to follow along, go to um, Audio Visualizer, Scenes, and uh, we're going to go into the Beat Detection scene in this one. And if you click on this Pad Ripple, you can see here's the Pad Waveform. And uh, let's go ahead and hit Play. This is what the Pad Waveform looks like. It's a bunch of um, line renderers drawn in um, circles around each other. Um, in this example we have an audio listener that's sending those waves across it. I actually want to turn that off right now just to talk about the pad waveform a bit. Um, so we have a few different input parameters here. Audio source, that's basically what um, audio source we want to listen to in this audio sampler. In this case it's just the only audio source playing this song right here. Um, next, I want to talk about number of lines. That's how many lines do we have. So if we just change this to 50, then we have a lot less lines. You can see that. Uh, we also have radius, so we could change that to 25, and we should see about half the radius. There we go. Um, we have max height. That's for all these different effects, the max height of the effect and we have an update rate um, for those effects as well. Here we have a pad type. Ripple is meant to be paired with this um, public event send ripple. Basically um, when pad type ripple is enabled it will only update this first ring and then when you call this um, send ripple it will use that ring to send a ripple across. Um, but we also have a few other pad types, one called Damp Wave. Basically, uh, creates the a ring of audio height in the middle and then duplicates that across all rings as well as damps them. And we have Regular Wave, which is the same except it doesn't damp it from left to right. And finally, we have Bounce. What that does is it moves each ring up and down using the waveform of the music. Um, we have a few other parameters like ripple color. So if we uh, turn this send ripple back on, I'm going to wait for the music to start again. Let me just restart this here. So we're sending ripples again, and I can adjust this ripple color to be whatever I want. Uh, we also have start and end color. I believe that has to be, I uh, don't oh know, I can change it. Here. Middle. If I um, change these, you can see that's the start color is the inner part of the ring and end color is the outer part of the ring. Then we also have a start and end width for each line segment. So if I wanted some real fat lines, I could change these to one, for example. Now I got some real beefy fat lines um, on top of each other. <coughs> Excuse me. And finally, we have line segments. That's how many line segments are in each um, circle. And um, gizmos, that's basically, do I want to draw this thing in the scene so I'm looking at it, I can see this little sphere. Here's where the pad waveform is. All right, and that's basically it. There's the pad waveform. You can adjust all these parameters, as well as call this send ripple event, which sends that ripple across the pad and that ripple will take this amount of time to finish. Um, finally, here's our website, doggydoggames.com. You can check out games, tools, and uh, get some support. As And here's our audio visualizer tool. Sorry about that. Which you can find on the Unity Asset Store. All right, thank you very much, and I hope you make some cool effects with these pad waveforms.